So something I wanted to talk about is the size of this bike. Now, I am a short rider. I'm about 5'5", five, five, maybe 5'6", five, somewhere in that area. Uh, this bike, the seat height is 32.1 inches and the weight is about 519 pounds. So it's a tall bike and it's a heavy bike. So as you can see, again, I'm 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, somewhere in that area. For me, it's really at the maximum of my capability in terms of being able to ride it. So when I ride this and I'm at a, a stoplight, I kind of have to balance back and forth on my tippy toes like that. So, you know, for me it's okay, but I can't ride a passenger on it. It's just too tall for me. And you can adjust a lot on this bike, but you can't adjust that seat height. And, you know, that's standard. That 32.1 inch seat height is kind of standard, so it's not unexpected. But for you shorter riders, you should know that it is a tall bike. And for me, I have to be on my tippy toes, as you can see. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about was the riding position and how it's very adjustable based on how you position yourself. And again, that's, that's the point of this bike, is it really does everything really well. So if you want to get crazy and get down on the tank and race, you can easily do that and it's comfortable and it's made for that. Or if you're going on a nice ride with someone on the back and you're kind of sport touring and you're looking around, you can have a more upright uh, riding position, both of which are comfortable. I've ridden this bike uh, a couple hundred miles on the freeway and it's comfortable, no back issues or anything like that because you can ride it more upright, you know, and then you can switch around based on how you position yourself.